चला देते हैं तो टॉप केनर टुडे इज भारती एनी व्यू ऑन भारती एयरटेल well uh, pankaj tvc telecom space means uh, means if for last couple of months telecom space is under performing and at and at lower levels we have seen that bharti has a very strong support in the range of 290 95 and we are seeing some pullback in bharti but i don't see uh, that this delhi is going to last uh, above 325 level 325 remains uh, a very strong resistance zone and around those levels i'm expecting a profit booking in bharti uh, so uh, means this is not a time to make long position in bharti we have seen uh, that in today's rally also there is not much open interest addition oh, it is addition by uh, fresh addition by only 2% uh, so uh, i think that around 325 levels if some is holding they should book profit in uh, bharti airtel right uh, himen uh, what would be your call on bharti i think uh, deeply overall situation i think idea same uh, idea would also probably do something where marginally up that should do better but uh, it's a I wouldn't say the dead cat bounce, but it's a bounce. We are retracing the rise, the fall from 385 to 285. So I think we have some more headroom left in Bharti. I'm not sure if it's tradable, but yes, it definitely seems more positive than negative as of now. So you would not want to buy this, irrespective of it being more positive. Yeah, no, I would not want to. Yeah. Because. Uh, we've seen multiple uh, fits and starts pankaj it hasn't been very reliable that doesn't mean that it's not going to be reliable this time around but uh, the pattern does not induce too much of confidence i mean if i were to take a position if you tell me i'd probably sell a put and uh, uh, plan my strategy right and idea bharti infratel as well okay idea would be slightly better in the sense uh, though uh, bharti has made a move i think idea seems uh, uh, as a counter buy i think i'd probably stick my neck out and say idea looks better and it's probably worth a trade a high risk one at that uh, uh, nonetheless and in terms of bharti at uh, bharti infratel it hasn't done much anything so no i would it would for me the packing order would be actually idea and that's it right uh Uh, Aditya, we uh, I and Himen have already spoken. We've taken Himen's view on Jet Airways, but it's coming up again as one of the top gainers with a seven percent move. How would you look at Jet Airways? Well, if we see Jet also, then this stock has seen a one side correction. From 650, 660 odd levels to 340, which is approximately 15% correction. So we are seeing a pullback in this counter, and this pullback may extend a little bit more. On higher side, the stock has a potential to test 440 levels. We have seen a lot of short positions getting built up in last couple of weeks, and the same were get uh, got rolled, and same got rolled in the currencies also. So we are seeing some short curving this counter. Uh, so on back of short curving, this stock may see some more pullback uh, around 435, 440 is the next target, uh, which you can expect in Jet Airways. So yes, if someone is playing for three, four days trading sessions. and they can make make long position jet airways with a very strict target of 435 440 and on lower side stop loss will be 370 just wanted to point out phoenix mills uh, if you can just pull up that name it's up 20% in the last 5 minutes it's gone up 10% 421 the year high is 448 and i think uh, uh, it's looking in uh, good day i mean if you could just tell us the life high for phoenix mills is it at the life high i mean around the 448 mark is the life high as well no that's a 50 uh, that's a 52 uh, week high the life high pankaj comes in at around 560 in december 2007 right i mean you know this could be because of some intraday activity that would be going on in phoenix mill and in the last 5 minutes somebody probably is forced to buy uh, but how would you look at this name of course the adjusted closing would be way lower but if you can just look at the chart and tell us how would you look at phoenix mills i think 440 was one level now and oh, sorry 420 is one level we just above that and the next level is 440 so i'd be cautiously optimistic but like you said if it's just a one day burst and there's no follow up buying uh, difficult it's like skating on thin ice but as of now uh, after 20% upside i'm not sure how to even uh, sort of figure that out but cautiously optimistic right you know just wanted to ask that you know when such things happens in the last 5 minutes of course the adjusted pricing would be lower but as a technical would you look at the closing price then mm uh, frankly speaking uh, it's distortion because when you're taking the half an hour average on the other hand it saves you from price manipulation so uh, you take it with a pinch of salt but i would i would prefer to take the uh, uh, the clo- uh, the price at 329 rather than the adjusted because that's what's actually happened maybe maybe it's been uh, like you said forced buying but whatever right 
so that's uh, Phoenix Mills for you, up 20%, but uh, we'll wait for the adjusted one as well. Markets are just about to close, about a minute. ONGC is up 2%, 283, BHEL 127. No movement actually for uh, BHEL today. Phoenix Mills 18%, as we told you in the last five minutes. And even if you look at the volumes, it's just 98,000 shares. So it's not much uh, that has actually happened. Uh, we'll wait for the delivery. We'll see how things are tomorrow morning and probably that could give you a better picture. That's the closing bell. Ambuja Cement up about half a percent. Gale is down about 0.3% or so. Bharti is uh, the top gainer. And right from the word go, since morning, it has looked quite good. It could be because of the payment bank, but again, uh, you know, it's still some time away if it has to contribute meaningfully to the earnings. 6.7% higher, 321, 322 for Bharti Airtel. 4, 4.5 million shares traded. Tata Power, 3.8% higher, 7.2. That's the second top gainer. Tata Power declares numbers tomorrow. Tomorrow, they would declare numbers. So that's the time when, uh, you know, you would uh, get the details of Q2 numbers for them. Uh, Z Entertainment, 3.7% higher, 456. I think 460 was the day's high. But again, you know, Z, time and again, every time it has seen a correction, it has tend to see some sort of buying after that. So 456 for Z, 2.6 million shares traded. Idea, 3.7%, 7677 for Idea, 7 million shares, 3 rupees higher. Maybe it's an effect which is coming in from Bharti. Bharti was up 6, and that's why Idea also saw some late buying. Adani Ports, 3% higher, 273, 274. 5.9 million shares traded for Adani Ports, 8.5 rupees higher, 273. Uh, decently strong, but uh, again, uh, you know, it, it probably lacked uh, second half of buying uh, after 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 hitting a new high. Uh, Bosch was up 2.6, 19,300. Since morning was looking good, but again, volumes are not that supportive, just about 11,000 shares, so maybe that's uh, uh, not that convincing. ONGC is up 2.2. After the Oil India numbers, actually, Oil India did not rally, but ONGC did. Bharti Infratel, 2% higher, 363 for Bharti Infratel, so that's also a name which is doing well. ITC, 2% higher, 233 for ITC. Uh, it is a heavyweight, 9 million shares traded. Grasim is up about 2%, 840. Hero, Tata Motors, DVR, NTPC are some of the other gainers. Most of these names uh, are looking in, uh, you know, decently positive uh, throughout the day today. In terms of some losers, BOB was among the top losers, 3% down. SBI was looking in weak, it was down 2%. Indescent, Yes Bank, ICICI, you heard the management just about 15-20 minutes back. So the top five losers were from the banking space. M&M, Hindalco, TCS, some of the other losers, but the magnitude of losses were not that great. It was only the banking names that actually did put a lot of pressure. Not apart from this, uh, one saw a lot of pressure coming in into the large cap ones. In terms of mid-cap names, Adani Power was up about 11%, so that did particularly quite well. MRPL was up 13%, it's a subsidiary of ONGC, ONGC was up 3%, MRPL was up about 13% or so. Ujjas Energy is up at 47 rupees, as we told you, it's been the stock of the month, 80% higher for Ujjas Energy, so that's a name which is uh, doing well, continues to do so. Global Spirit was up 20%, 96 rupees. Indocount Industries, that's the results impact, was up about 10 odd percent. Gravita India was up about 20%, 40 rupees for Gravita India. Shilpa Medicare also did well, so it was up around 8, 8 and a half odd percent for Shilpa Medicare. That's also a name which is done particularly quite well, 8 and a half percent higher. Uh, Sujana Metals was, okay, that's a 2 rupee name. RPG Life Sciences was up 10%, 495. Advanced Enzyme was up 7%. Kirloskar Brother was up about 7 odd percent. Balma Lori was up 8%. And you know, the list can just go on. Tamil Nadu Newspaper was up 7%. Uh, Amen, what do you make of uh, this, you know, this sort of surge coming in the mid-cap space? Does it tell you that uh, things are just back the way they were? No, I think it's it's it's, it's more of uh, support base, at least from a technical uh, point of view, Pankaj. Uh, okay, the mid caps out outperform significantly, and some of them have retraced, come to medium term support level. So I think that's what playing out, or good quality stocks are finally participate in line with the bounce of the market. So I wouldn't attach too much of significance to it. But if this sustains over a period of time, then the advanced decline line uh, becomes positive, and then you would be more happy with the recovery in the market but i think it's so uh, as of now it seems like a knee-jerk reaction uh, one would have to wait and see right uh, i mean uh, thank you so much for taking out time for us uh, always a pleasure uh, aditya is still with us aditya we've not taken your view on the markets what are the levels that you would look for 
Well, uh, Pankaj, if we see Nifty, then on lower side, 7900 was a very strong support based for Nifty. And if we see last month options data, then it means we have seen Vexam writing at uh, 7900 strike option only. And from those levels only, we have seen a pullback. Uh, for this, th we are expecting that market will be more or less range bound. On higher side, 8200, 8250 remains a very strong resistance zone for Nifty. So we may see a minor pullback from these levels. And at the 70, 80 points pullback uh, can be seen in Nifty. Uh, but I'm not expecting a big rally from current levels, at least in this series as well, itself. This series will be will continue to trade in a range of 7800, 7850 on lower side and 8200, 250 on uh, higher side. So the four, this is a 400 points band. But yes, from current levels, if you ask me, then we are expecting in the 70 to 80 points pullback but if nifty comes in the range of 8200 8250 level there's that is one level where one should book profit in the short term long positions and one can actually go short uh, we can we can um, we are expecting that nifty can again retest 8000 level after retesting 8200 right uh, you know can you just talk about uh, non fno stock phoenix mills what happened what happened over there well, if we see Phoenix Mills, means we have seen a, a pullback in the counter, but I don't think this rally is going to uh, last in Phoenix Mills. On higher side, the stock has a very strong, strong resistance around 440, 445 levels. So today we have seen a pullback in the counter in the last half an hour of session. Uh, so uh, I, I, I won't be making any long position this counter at current levels as the stock continues to face resistance in the range of 440, 445. Yes, if a stock comes in the range of 380, 370, that is one level where one can go long, keeping a stop loss of 345. And higher side, one can expect target of 440. Right. Uh, how would you uh, look at Z Entertainment 456? Well, if we see Z Entertainment, then the stock has already seen a sharp correction in the last couple of days, and now we are seeing some pullback in this counter. Uh, on higher side, 460, 65 is a very strong resistance zone. If that is broken, then uh, we can uh, then Z Entertainment can, can test its next resistance zone of 490. So today we have seen a uh, pullback rally short on the back of short curving. We have seen in the rally of 4% in the counter, but stock needs to break 460 level convincingly, and it it need to close above that. And that goes. Case only we I would recommend a, uh, I recommend a long position this uh, in Z Entertainment with a target of 490. With a target of 490. Uh, as far as Adani Ports is concerned, 3% move 273. Well, we see whole of Adani group, then Adani port looks much more uh, better stocks as compared to Adani power or Adani enterprises. Uh, it has seen a decent rally from uh, lows of 170 levels to 315 levels. Stock has made a good bottom in the range of 250 to 16 last couple of weeks. And now we are seeing a pullback in the counter. And I am expecting that this pullback may uh, extend a little bit more, 285 to 95 are the next target in, in Adani ports. At current levels also, one can initiate long position and in, and, and in the decline towards 268 to 260 can be used to add more positions with the positional stop loss of 250 on higher side 290-95 will be the first target and that is broken then one can easily expect that stock can test 315-320 also right uh, in terms of uh, some of the losers let's talk about SPI or maybe Bank of Baroda uh, one would say they started where they did and then uh, did not do much in the day uh, but still 2 to 3 percent decline you think that's it they would they would get some support Well, yes, means I, overall, if we see banking space, then it is looking weaker than Nifty. A bank Nifty, if we see, if we remove one week data, last week data, then Bank Nifty was looking better. But in last one week or so, we have seen, we have seen some fresh short position getting initiated in Bank Nifty. It has given a breakdown below its crucial support of 19,000 levels. So for the timing, if we see, then Bank Nifty is looking weaker than Nifty, and uh, Bank Nifty will continue uh, to bring uh, to drag Nifty down. Uh, similarly, if we see some of the banking counters, then we are seeing some selling pressure at higher levels. Means we see SBI stock is trading in the range. It is a range of 240 on lower side, 280, 285 on higher side. So again, it can. I'm expecting that SBI may again retest 240 levels, which is approximately five to six percent correction from these levels. Uh, so we can see some pull, uh, so some correction more than SBI from current levels. Similarly, we see Bank of Baroda. Uh, it is not breaking 175, 180, which is a very strong resistance zone. And every time stock tested those levels, we are seeing some severe correction in the counter. Uh, immediately, it, stock has a support around in the range of 157, 158. If it breaks 158 level, then again stock can test 150, 148 odd levels. Uh, so overall banking space is not looking very encouraging from current levels. Some of the banking stocks are there which is looking quite good like Axis Bank in private, private private banking space. It has already seen a good correction and now stock is consolidating at lower levels in the range of 460, 470. So in Axis Bank we are expecting a pullback.